Playing Fortnite on GeForce Now, whether you're on the free plan or ultimate, getting the best performance isn't just about fast internet, it's about using the right settings. In this guide, I'll show you how to boost FPS, cut input lag, and keep your gameplay smooth and sharp. Go inside GeForce Now, dive into the streaming settings. If you're on the free plan, your resolution and FPS will likely be capped. But don't worry, you can still optimize for smooth gameplay. Set your resolution to 720p and cap the bitrate to 15 Mbps for stable performance. It's not ultra sharp, but it's reliable. For Ultimate Plan users, you get access to 1080p and even 240fps in supported games. If your monitor supports it, crank up the frame rate. Just make sure your bitrate is set between 25 to 50 Mbps to prevent quality drops or artifacting during fast motion. Next, server selection. Many players make the mistake of manually choosing a server based on location, but GeForce Now's automatic server selection typically picks the fastest and lowest latency option based on real-time network data. Leave it on auto for the most consistent results unless you have a specific reason to switch. Now, head into the advanced GeForce Now settings. Turn off VSync unless you're experiencing visible screen tearing, and even then, try NVIDIA Reflex first. Reflex is available in Fortnite and should always be enabled or set to on plus boost if the option is available. This minimizes input latency, which is a game changer in fast paced build fights or close range gunfights. HDR support might seem tempting, but leave it off. It adds visual drama, but also increases latency and can cause weird brightness shifts in cloud gaming. Keep your color settings neutral and avoid any post-processing effects on your monitor or GPU drivers that could interfere with stream clarity. One important thing many players overlook is session persistence. If your Fortnite settings reset every time, it's likely because you're not saving them in-game or not linking your Epic account properly within GeForce Now. Double check that your account is linked in the GeForce Now dashboard. This ensures your keybinds, sensitivity and graphics preferences stay intact between sessions. Finally, match your frame cap to your display. If your monitor only runs at 60 Hz, pushing 120 FPS won't help. It might actually make things worse. Set your FPS limit to either match or slightly under your monitor's refresh rate for smooth frame pacing. For ultimate users with 240Hz displays, go all in. Just make sure your internet and device can handle the load. Now let's take it one step further. If you're really aiming for lightning fast responsiveness and near zero input delay, you'll want to grab my exclusive Fortnite input delay fix pack, available right now on my official website. You'll find the download link conveniently placed in the video description. Once you're there, click on the FPS Boost tab. You'll instantly recognize the same title and thumbnail as this video, making it easy to find. Just click on it, and with a single click, you can download the entire pack. This pack includes two essential tools, ISLC, Intelligent Standby List Cleaner, and Filter Key Setter. Both of these are extremely effective for reducing latency, cleaning system memory, and boosting input responsiveness. Especially helpful when you're cloud gaming through GeForce Now, or even playing locally. Let's start with ISLC. Once you've downloaded and launched it, you'll see two memory value boxes at the top. In the first box, type in 1024, which sets the minimum free memory threshold. In the second box, enter half of your total RAM in megabytes. For example, if you have 16 GB of RAM, input 8000 MBB. This setting ensures that your system efficiently purges unused standby memory during gameplay, preventing unnecessary RAM clutter. Now scroll down to the Wanted Time Resolution section. Clear out any existing value and type in row 050. Then make sure you tick the Enable Custom Time Resolution checkbox. This tweak plays a key role in reducing overall input lag. Right below that, you'll find the polling rate setting. If you're on a mid to high end PC, go with 500 memnum SS for slightly faster responsiveness. For low end setups, stick with 1000 MDS, which provides better system stability while still improving performance. After that, make sure every available checkbox is selected, including launch ISLC on user logon and start ISLC minimized. Then hit purge standby list, and after that, click start. Once it's running, minimize the window, but don't close it. Let ISLC run in the background while you game. Now let's move on to the second tool, Filter Key Setter. After extracting it from the fix pack, 
right-click and run it as an administrator to ensure full access to your system settings. Once the tool opens, check the boxes for available, confirm activation and show status. These enable the filter key tweaks to stay active while you play. Next, you'll want to fine-tune the response timing for your keyboard. Set Ignore Under to 0Ms, set Repeat Delay to 200Ms, set Repeat Rate to 25Ms. These values massively increase the speed at which your keyboard registers inputs, giving you the ability to hit up to 40 keystrokes per second, perfect for building, editing, or reacting quickly in fast-paced Fortnite fights. Once you've entered all values, don't forget to check Save to Registry and hit OK to apply the settings permanently. To get started with Gear Up Booster, download the tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the Not tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let GearUp automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to Automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using GearUp Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Now click on the search icon in your taskbar, type Registry Editor, and right-click to run it as Administrator. Next, grab the registry path I've provided in the video description, copy it, and paste it directly into the address bar at the top of the Registry Editor. Press Enter to instantly jump to the correct location without having to manually dig through folders. This registry path contains configuration values that tell Windows how to prioritize system resources, especially useful for high-demand games like Fortnite. Once you arrive at the specified key, you'll see a set of values on the right-hand side. These determine how your CPU and GPU behave during gameplay. We'll now edit each of these to shift more power toward Fortnite, which can result in reduced input lag, smoother frame pacing, and a noticeable FPS boost, especially during high action moments. Affinity, double click this entry and set its value to F. Make sure the base is set to hexadecimal, then click OK. This allocates full core affinity to the game process. Background own, only. Change this value to false. This ensures Fortnite is treated as a primary task and not deprioritized when background processes run. GPU. Priority. Set this to E, again with hexadecimal selected. This increases the GPU's attention toward Fortnite, helping to maintain better frame rates. Priority. Enter the value 6, which tells Windows to give Fortnite a higher than normal CPU scheduling priority. It's a subtle but effective boost. Scheduling category. Modify this string to say hi. This raises the task scheduling tier, allowing Fortnite to compete better against other demanding applications. SFIO. Priority. Set this one to high as well. It reinforces foreground responsiveness and helps Fortnite stay at the top of the system's focus. After applying these changes, you're not just making Fortnite run smoother, you're telling Windows to treat it like a top priority task. Expect fewer frame drops, faster response times, and a more stable experience overall, especially during build fights and fast-paced action. Your system will now respond faster, manage memory more efficiently, and deliver far lower input delay. And you'll have one of the smoothest Fortnite experiences possible, even if you're playing on a free plan. If this helped, drop a like and subscribe for more Fortnite optimization tips. Stay sharp, and I'll catch you in the next one.